Am I supposed to be impressed or something? Oh, give me a break. If annoying people was your goal, you're pretty good at it. But I don't get you. Why me? You got a thing for cats or something? No, oh, I mean... Dogs chase cats. Usually. So, what's your excuse? Anything you'd like to say, or you're just gonna keep staring at me and touching me? You can't buy my advice, sweetheart, but that's not what you came for. Is this an attraction thing? Cause sure, you're attractive, but you're crazy. And no, you can't buy me with some booze. For what it's worth, I don't think that's what you're looking for. Come on. You remind me of myself from a while ago. Don't give me that. Just come along already. I promised I would help that one time. Why are you asking for more favors? <sighs> Look, just because I made a promise with you doesn't mean I'm gonna keep it forever. You get that? I'm not exactly trying to convince you here of anything particularly special. Just that I, personally, you're hot. I get that. You're confident. I get that too. Both attractive qualities, by the way. But bribing me to get love advice for who? Oh, shit. Look, baby, I know this isn't gonna come nice, but we were a thing back on Earth. We promised each other. Like school kids back then, we'd stay together through thick and thin. Then we were torn apart. And then 50 years later, you show up. <sighs> Listen, I know. I know what you're asking again, but we have to start over with all that and I'm not even sure if we're right for each other. Remember how it ended the first time? I'm not asking you to believe me, I'm asking you to understand why things are so goddamn tough, why I'm working here, why I'm barely Anything more than a husk, you know, creative naming sense and all, but you get it, don't you? And I never forgot about you, I know. I just never knew if I'd see you again. I always assumed you'd go up there, that heart of yours and what you did. Living your life giving to people always and you ended up here. That bullshit. I hate it for you. And just seeing you is painful. But you're asking me to go back to how things were. Honey, you're loyal. You're gorgeous. If I'm completely honest here, right here. Out of my league now. You could do a lot better, and what's with people slapping walls today? <sighs> so, that's why you keep hanging out here. You weren't over me, even though you tried to pretend to be. When you showed up on my doorstep, I, I could tell it was you immediately. By your eyes. Your eyes told me everything. And I saw right through you, I guess. And I don't regret it. I don't regret that we met. I'm happy that we did, but... How am I supposed to feel? It's been 50 years. And I... I thought of a million different ways how you survived and 
maybe how you were in life back on Earth. <clears throat> Look, sentimentals ain't my forte. They never were. That's why the waterworks are so bad. When I do feel something, I feel it strong. You know that, baby. And I know that all this is you trying to reconnect, rebuild that relationship we had. I know we weren't saints. We were sinners at the end of the day, but you were a damn better sinner than me. You deserved better for what you did. Always given to people. And that's how I know the world's fucked up place. Because I have to watch you rot down here with me. Touche. I'll give you that. You've got that same silver tongue. Always helping people you love and care about. How ironic. You ended up looking like that. I would end up a cat. Makes sense with my personality, doesn't it? I could never find that moral compass that you had so easily. But I guess God don't care about that. Neither does Lucifer. <sighs> no, maybe he cares a little. His daughter sure does. Shocking. It's different. But honey, sit with me. Come on back. This is my little hideaway. Don't ask me how I got this, but I had a deal with the radio demon. He made me a little studio back here. If I ever wanted to join him on the radio, said my voice was uh, radio quality or something like that. And that's how we got here. It's cozy, isn't it? I like the padding on the walls, and uh, I may enjoy a catnap or two. Are you sure there's um, enough space for you? We're kind of close like this. Baby, I, I did miss you. I still do. I just... I don't know if I was ever right for you. I kept thinking back to it. That maybe I... I was the reason you ended up down here. So it was bittersweet when I first laid eyes on you. When I saw how you delved into the abyss, you still had that smile. The smile you kept when you were helping people, and to think you'd work at the same hotel as me, still doing that. I didn't know how to handle it, so I kept up my walls, but just like before, you broke them down. Made me look like a fool. <laughs> I don't mind that part so much. Not even a little bit, actually. If I had to mind something, it's that you have to be here. I hate that. I hate it so bad, I can't even put it into words. I guess... Baby, you... You don't deserve to rot in hell. I'll tell you that. You've helped more people than a saint. You lived a perfectly good life. Secrets. So you're gonna tell me you're not as innocent as I think. Don't care. Why would I care? Everyone has their phones, baby. That doesn't make you a devil. It doesn't even make you a de- Well... Can't say that one anymore, I guess. You know. I've been drinking myself into a stupor every day. Now listen to me, it wasn't your fault, but when I left you, 
I knew you couldn't handle that big scary world alone. Or so I thought I convinced myself that you would follow right behind. I didn't want it. Because I want it better for you. I know you know how selfish I lived. How selfish I could be. And yet here I was. Missing you. Terribly. It was one of the hardest times of my life. After life, whatever. I don't care that I became a demon or whatever I am. I only care about the fact that for all my wishing, for all my hope, I, I saw you walk in that day. Why, baby? Why do you still care about me? I loved you. I broke your heart that day. Dying for the stupidest thing. What I thought was our salvation was the most bitter pill I ever swallowed. Watching you mourn me even before I died. It broke me. And so I turned to the only thing I knew more about than anyone else. I turned to alcohol and I drowned myself in it. And for 50 years, that's how I lived. 50 fucking years. And now I just don't know if I could go back. I don't know if I'm that strong, baby. Because I, I've met a lot of things in my life, in my afterlife, and everything. But I've never met someone like you. Not once. And not ever again. Because, baby, the only thing that I could never let go of was that memory for you, you remember that old picture of us. I couldn't forget it. Not once could I ever let go of you. I didn't have the courage to ever be different from what I thought I could just live without you, but I was wrong. And now you come back and ask me to just resume like I didn't abandon you. Don't say that. Don't you dare say I didn't abandon you. If I had just survived. If I didn't do that stupid thing that day. You wouldn't have been alone. For 50 years without me. 50 fucking years. Don't try and act like that. You don't look like you aged a day from the day I saw you. Sure, I'm more wolfy than before, but if you think I think you're less gorgeous than before, less beautiful, handsome, perfect, then you're more stupid than I thought, babe. I never once saw you and thought anything other than that you're perfect. You're perfect in such a way that breaks my heart because I know I'm not. I know what you're saying. I get it, you ended up here so you're not perfect, whatever. I say that's bull. That's the worst kind of bull. That's like me saying I'm sober. That kind of bull. Because I realized that day when I left you, those tears dripping on me, the last thing I felt. And I didn't want anything more than to just keep being with you. I was a simple man, living in bliss until it got taken away all at once. It broke me. 
Because I thought, maybe, just maybe, there wasn't any afterlife. That maybe something just keeps on going. And it scared me, but I was worried because I tried so hard not to die. Baby, I... I never wanted to leave you. No, I'm a mess. You're kidding, right? You want me, the bartender, to go sober? <laughs> you mean like when we were in our honeymoon phase? When everything was going so good and I didn't feel like I needed the alcohol even once. I love you. I love you more than I've ever loved alcohol, more than I've ever loved anything. But you telling me that everything's okay, that we can just go back like nothing happened, then how am I supposed to... How could I forgive myself for leaving first? Doesn't matter. Is that how you see it? Your big stupid heart forgiving me like I wasn't the worst husband ever. <laughs> Don't be stupid and at least call what I am. I was far too weak, and you were strong, and I... I just ruined everything. I never thought I would see those eyes looking back at me. But now that I do, I, I don't know what to say. I was broken for so long. I missed you so much. I haven't gone a single day doing anything but trying to drown out the memories of you for the past 50 years. <laughs> and just when I thought I, I'd moved on, I realized it was the opposite. I could never. You can't get over true love. <laughs> That's why I was resolved to keep that love to my afterlife. Never thinking of anything other than you and I'm sure I'm gonna be completely honest with you honey there were times when I was weak times when I tried to drown you out with other people the booze didn't help none of it helped I I got lost but you still managed to find me <laughs> Just like you did before. Do you remember when I would get lost after the bar? After things went south. Real south. You'd always find me. Back then. You'd always find me. Even though I hid myself perfectly or so I thought. And you'd always look at me with those same damn eyes. And I couldn't help but smile. Even when I wanted to scowl and hate myself, you wouldn't let me. You held me like this. You gave me love that I didn't think I deserved at all. And you cared for me. Even when my heart felt like it would stop. It's only stupid that when it finally did, I, I realized that in hindsight how much I'd mistreated you. That I, I should.
passion for light so much, and that self-hatred that took me away. And I missed you. And I'm not ashamed to admit it. But for all I ever wanted to be was your husband. The one person who could make you smile the way I thought you deserved. But when I left, I, I did the opposite. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Just like always. You always know exactly what to say to me. To leave me speechless and looking like an idiot. But I never hated it. I always loved you. I love you more than I could ever express. In such ways that I... I feel so guilty kissing you that I don't want to forever. If this is my second chance, then fuck it. I'll take every second chance I've got. Because you're the one thing that could get me out of my drunken stupor without fail every time. I love you. I love you more than anything. <laughs> and this time, I won't be leaving first. <laughs> <laughs>